All right, so player development is defined as the enhancement of the athlete experience through holistic and intentional programming and initiative. So when I was in a role, the four things I always remember was enhancing, experience, holistic, intentional. And so in the role, as I grew into the role, I found out what I was. So what I would tell players when recruits would come on campus, I'd say, hey, you know what? After you work out, what's one of the first things you do? You get a protein shake, right? The protein shake does not replace the workout. It enhances the workout. Well, that's player development. You're coming to college, college, you're playing college football. I don't replace your experience. I just enhance your experience. So um, that's what it looks like. I think you said it, Jesse. I love it. A lot of people forget these are big kids. Like I've had a 16 year old, 17, like they're big kids. And another thing that people forget specifically in football, when you like when I talk to an NFL scout and I was like, why, why is it always, why is it not just film? Why do you all have, and I just asked him, I was like, why do y'all miss on guys? Because at the NFL, they're going to miss on size and speed. And so those are two things in football. You can find out pretty early with kids. There's going to be a big kid that's bigger than everybody else. There's going to be a kid that's way faster than everybody else. And so immediately their identity is you're a football player. And there are some coaches, parents, adults that remove a lot of responsibility from that athlete. And then they come to campus where now they have to have responsibility and people don't realize that this is year one of responsibility for them. Right. And so I, I do. And that's why I'm there because I say, Hey, this is what an email is. Like it reminds me of a story. I think of uh, John Wooden would always teach his players how to tie their shoes first or, you know, um, I can't think of his name. I can see his face. Lambo Packers. Uh, ah, the coach. I can't think of his face. Uh, the coach for the Packers. Ben Lombardi. Ah, there it is. Yeah. He would always start off with, this is a football, right? And so I think as I got deeper into it, because I was there, I was like, hey, you guys should know this. You should know. And it's like, yeah, they should, but they don't. And I learned it in high school, being at a school where we were fortunate to have 50 kids play Division One football, a lot of parents wanted to avoid the heartbreak for their kids. Yeah, Georgia's coming here to recruit that kid. Alabama's coming to look at that kid. You're not going to play there. And a lot of people were trying to remove that, that reality that may help someone say, you know what? I cannot play there. They don't want me, but I'm going to go wherever I want to be. I'm going to be the best person there, whatever. And so that's a big thing, player development. You're filling that gap of what you're seeing what's missing, right? And I had a four-level learning process where I would educate, engage, equip, and provide experience. And it didn't matter, like, because we had some freshmen that were super mature, and we had some seniors that were not as mature. And so shout out to the AI, AI thumb. Uh, but that's, <laughs> so especially we come in and when coaches are like, because does it get on our nerves in player development as well? Yes. Does it get on coaches' nerves even more? Yes. Because coaches, I mean, it's different than when I was in school. That five-year contract is a two-year contract. We all know that. And so they are like, he has to pick it up. And so now I'm looking at it like, some, I've been around players that hygiene, like they don't like that. I literally have to go, there was a player I had, I would literally have to go in the locker room after practice shower now man i'm trying to shower now because you get stuff like staff and all that. like they just don't they don't nobody's ever said anything to them and so that and a lot of other things we do so nobody's ever really talked to them about careers nobody's ever really put them engage them in a community or who they truly are outside of just football like i love whenever we're in a team hotel and somebody gets on the piano and always plays there's always one player that loves to play and so it always sparks up a conversation of Hey, what's your hidden hidden talent? What different things like that? Because they once, I mean, it, it happens a lot of football. Once they are really good, it is scholarship. And what I used to always tell my high school students, I said the same thing with my college athletes. I always tell my high school students, a college scholarship is not one step closer to the NFL. You're one step away from high school football. So when our freshmen that came in, I said, you're not close to the NFL. This is a step that you're just a step away from high school football players. Now, what you do here, the responsibilities you you know, grow in and learn can help you in that process. So it's that we do a lot. I know for me personally, I was always personal wellness, community impact and career development. Those are the big, big things. Like we, and I would tell parents, our coach would say, what do we tell parents? We're going to take care of your son, personal wellness. They're going to take care of the community, community impact. And then we're going to take care of them whenever their career is done, which is career development. So that's kind of the basis of what most people do in a role. I, I love that. I think that's, that's such a good, that like so much, happens in there right like you have to teach one kid how to write an email one you have to remind to take a shower but these kids come from so many different backgrounds so mm -hmm. many different life experiences and 
and they are thrust into a world that is so different. And they're far away from home. A lot of times they, they don't know anybody. I know at Alabama, there's people from up North, you know, New York, all over. It's a completely different culture. I mean, you're learning everything. So 